Now in this video we want to talk about Taiwan Semiconductor and this is the daily chart and price sold off on earnings now part of that sell off was early in the week former President Donald Trump said Taiwan should pay the US for defending it Additionally, the U.S. is reportedly considering tightening its restrictions on the export of advanced chips to China. China has been making threatening moves toward Taiwan in recent days. However, you can't deny their earnings. And so this dip is a buying opportunity. Let's get into the earnings and then we'll get back into the charts. As I do see a level of interest that stands out as a buy opportunity. So Taiwan Semiconductor reported a stronger than expected profit in the second quarter as it continued to see stellar demand for semiconductors from AI industry. They make most of the advanced chips in the world. More than 95% of the advanced chips, including NVIDIA's chips. The world's largest contract chip maker forecast slightly higher capital expenditure for the year, citing the need to consistently increase production for capacity and technology development in the face of outsized demand from AI but this increased demand is also expected to boost revenue more than initially expected with the chip maker presenting a stronger outlook for the current quarter and also slightly hiking its 2024 revenue guidance again the firm which ranks technology giants Nvidia and Apple among its clients had earlier in July posted stronger than expected revenue for the second quarter which jumped 40 percent AI continues to drive leading edge strength with supply and demand balance to continue until 2026 it seems according to an analyst at Barclays post earnings note reiterating an overweight rating on the stock now you see this rally base and then the rally it's very subtle But this is the level where my eyes gravitated to. And that's the daily bias level at $162.50. Now we have to put this in perspective. We have to zoom out to see the location of this zone. And for that, I'm going to scroll out to the weekly chart this setup did work going back down to the daily chart for a second we had some resistance or pivot high when price broke became a flip zone when price dipped his toes, you have a moving average still pointing up, you have a doji candle, the next day you had a gap higher, that could have been your entry to get long, or you could have gotten long before the end of the day on this hammer candle, which represents buy and pressure. Nevertheless, again, this was another level that just worked out. Again, this was the dip on earnings. However, I wasn't the only one that found price at a good level or at a discount to get in. Again, price was just at $190. So again, zooming out to the weekly chart, just to put things in perspective. I would have loved it if this zone was lower, a bit lower, near this, what was all-time highs, back in March, at about $160. Again, that would become a flip zone. Resistance would become support. Now on the weekly chart, you do have this rally, this base, and this drop. So this becomes a sell level at 190. But we are still in an uptrend. And if you are a salmon, and if you want to survive, you want to go with the current. As you can see, all your moving averages are pointing 
up. So this becomes a target if you were able to get in at this daily buy level. Again, Taiwan should continue to report strong earnings as they are riding the AI wave. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.